videos because basically I have received quite a few frequently asked questions so I have compiled about, about the list of like 13 to 15 different questions that often like get asked okay <clears throat> so basically I made my YouTube channels like eight years ago and since then a lot of things have changed since my previous time in Hungary so now I'm back to Vietnam and God knows where else I'm gonna go. So, um, I made these channels basically for piano because it's one of my greatest passion. So let's start with question number one. Uh, some people ask me like, uh, what, where can I find music sheets for this particular songs? Okay, so whenever I play a song, I make sure that I can figure it out, of course. So basically, you can see here, I just play for you a piece of Happy New Year by ABBA. Um, I just basically listen to the song on YouTube, and then I figure out the chords. And basically, of course, the melody lines, the bass line, and sometimes even the guitar solos. So, some people may ask me the next questions. Then... Where? Where exactly can I find music sheets? I cannot help you because basically I don't use music sheets myself. I just play by ear. Okay. Question number two. Then how could you figure out by ear? Well, it's like our... There's something called ear training. Oral training. So basically... When I hear a sound, something I try to mimic it. Like for example, no more champagne. Oh, so I know this one. So basically, everything follows rules in music. So if I knew the first notes, I can pretty much have the picture of a whole piece, I would say. So it's a bit difficult for beginner, of course, but for most musicians, we are able to do that. It's like a skill you will learn after a while. Okay. Question number three I often get asked is, can you play this song? Can you do a cover of blah, blah, blah? Can you do a cover of this song? Something. Um, well, basically on stage, I get asked quite often to play, let's say, Beethoven or no sometimes like Yiruma and some other musics but to be honest I don't really play these mm, kind of music I like rock and heavy metal musics but very rarely I do like classicals or maybe pop music but mainly my repertoire is just like rock and heavy metal mainly <clears throat> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
like this song to be able to freak out and then just basically mix up, arrange my own arrangements. Uh, number four question I often ask is, do you take requests? Uh, it's a bit controversial for me because sometimes like a lot of people ask me music I, music genes that I basically don't really like and occasionally they ask me the things I really love to so of course I'm glad to do requests for them uh, number five people ask me like sometimes what educational background do I have <clears throat> okay so I graduated two years ago so right now it's Christmas Day um, of 2015 so I graduated two years ago as a pharmacist however I don't I didn't choose to pursue further so basically I love music more and well about music I start everything by my own I didn't have any teachers at all or maybe when I was six years old just half a year but I forgot everything and when I was in high school years I just pick it up again. I had a piano in there, and then just like, I like some Linkin Park songs, some old rock songs. Just figure it out, and things just get better and better after some times. It was history. Okay. <clears throat> Number six is of course, people ask me, why did you decide to quit and do music instead? Um, it's a bit personal, but I would say I'm more music man than a logical man in science, I would say. Um, once you're a musician, you will understand. So number seven is of course to play places. Of course I do. So basically I play in sometimes in clubs, in bars or sometimes in big places like hotel, in big venues sometimes but of course I always upload things and have events on my Facebook. You can find a link below in the description box. Mm -hmm. um, some people ask me if I have my own compositions, like my own original compositions, I do. Sometimes, but then um, it's just hard to have inspiration to come back and then finish that. Like for example, this piece. originals in my YouTube channels as well. Uh, number nine, do you sing? That's what they ask me. I say um, I occasionally sing but I'm not a best singer so I just basically play solo piano better than I sing. Well you can see it through my videos like when I play a song let's say November rain I play all the parts in both Let's say...
question is like, when I record my performance, why do I often wear headphones? Because like, of course I record through audio cables and through the uh, sound card below. You can see here I use Roland Dual Capture X. So basically, with the headphones it's easier to manipulate the sound the way I want. And, well, of course I can just plug it into the uh, speakers, but I just prefer this way. <clears throat> I might make videos on how to really record an instrument later. Okay. So, number 11. Do you prefer acoustic piano, the real piano, or just digital pianos? Well, it's like a century debate over which one is better. So every word it's, has its pros and cons. In the acoustic word, of course, the real wooden key, the real piano, the aesthetic look, it just, it's just good, right? Because it's real. But then, you have to think about this, how much money you have to spend in tuning the piano, the real ones. And then, of course, you have to care a lot. Especially when the moisture enters the wood and it's gonna ruin the instrument because the sound's gonna be like a cow. It's like, ah. It's not gonna sound as good if you don't take care of it. But of course, the touch is real and everything. How about digitals? It's lightweight. I can just bring it up, put it on the car into a car and then just hold to the gates. Of course, portable, it's cheaper, and of course, the sound is all the same. It's the same all the time. So the quality is constant. And of course, now, the digital world has evolved so fast that they create some instrument that sound just like the real thing. So basically, what you heard is concert grand. I can play the mellow. Now, maybe it's a bit better than the real ones, I would say. It has so many good advantages, so that's why I always recommend digitals. Okay. And number 12 is... How could you play so fast? And why do you put it on like clocks on? Um, well, basically, some rock and heavy metal song, it plays really, really, really fast. And... It just requires a lot of practice. Real uh, concert, grand pianos, it can play real fast as well as digitals. Professional pianists, they can play real fast as well. Just check them out. Draskovsky, say, Beethoven, third a movement of Patetique, let's say. It's all very fast. So for a professional pianist, it's really normal to play fast. It's really normal. I didn't cheat. Of course, sometimes people debate, like, did this guy actually edit his video in a way to make, the, to make it look very, um, let's say, unrealistically fast. Let me play for you a piece to see how fast it may. <laughs>
So basically, it's uh, it's very normal. Okay, and the last questions. Also, do I teach piano? Yes, I do. So basically, there's been a couple of my students studying with me. So if you really would like to study piano with me, and really serious about it, just basically contact me on the links below. Thank you. I hope you have a nice day and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Bye.